the Octonauts and the Electric Torpedo Rays. Full speed ahead, Dashie. I'm on it, Captain. Ha-ha! That's more like it! Are we almost there, Cap? Don't worry, Tweak. We'll be there in no time. Okay, Cap. You must be really excited to see Sandy. I sure am, Peso. Sandy the Sea Turtle is one of my best friends, and I don't get to see her very often. Sandy always swims through these waters this time of year. Then it's lucky that we're passing by. Sandy should be just on the other side of this canyon. I just hope we get there in time to see her. We'll be there faster than you can say, muncher, buncher. Uh, how does it go? Buncher, munchy, crunchy. Oh. What was that? Captain, the octopod is losing electrical power. I can't control the ship. Let's switch to steering wheel. Huh? <gasps> Quasi, peso, totem pole. Hi, Hi Captain. Okay. Sure thing. Hey, okay, Captain. Shiver me whiskers. That was a close one, Captain. It's not over yet. The electricity's out, and we're right on the edge of a deep canyon. And we're already late for meeting up with Sandy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, sorry, Cap. No electricity, no octo alert. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Tunip. Sound the octo alert, vegetable style. That's more like it. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the octopod has crashed. It seems to have lost all electrical power. I think I found the problem, Cap. See that? Red means that the octopod's battery is out of electricity. And without electricity, the octopod won't work. Don't worry, Tweak. I'm just worried that by the time it's fixed, it'll be too late to meet up with Sandy. Can't you just go out to meet her in one of the gups? The crash jammed the octa hatch. I can't get it open wide enough to take the gups out. We'd better check to see if the ship is damaged on the outside. Quasi, Peso, activate helmets. Let's go! This is not a good place for the octopod to be. It could fall over the canyon at any minute. We'd better tie it down. That should hold it. For a while. Ah, nothing to worry about. The octopod's as secure as... Huh, what's the big idea, stepping on my tail like that? First, this big orange thing drops out of the sky, and now these guys are just walking all over me while I'm resting on the sand. It makes me so mad, I could... <laughs> Easy now. We didn't mean to startle you. We were on our way to visit a friend when our ship crashed. Oh, all right. Whew, listen, I'm really sorry about that. I'm usually a pretty friendly, go-with-the-flow kind of guy, but sometimes I just get a little worked up, and then... Yeah, yeah, then you zap. But how do you do it? I am a torpedo ray, an electric torpedo ray, but you can call me Ray for short. An electric torpedo ray? That's right. I have a special part inside me that makes electricity, which lets me zap things. The one I gave you was just a little warning zap. Some warning. But I can make big zaps of electricity, too. Hmm, 
Could you show us how you make one of your big zaps? I sure hope this works. I might just get to see Sandy after all. Now, Ray, if you just make one of your nice big zaps, the electricity will go through the wire, recharge the battery, and give power to the octopod. Ready? Ready! All stand clear. Electricity is dangerous. <laughs> uh, must be a little nervous. Let me try that again. Take your time. Okay, here I go. Nothing to it. Huh? Uh, well, I guess I can only make really big zaps when something scares me or when I'm eating. Oh, yum! Oh, it's working! Mmm, oh, nice and crunchy. We torpedo rays always zap our food before we eat it. Oh, still not enough electricity, I guess. Sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, Ray. I was just really looking forward to seeing my friend. Hey, listen, I've got some friends too. Other electric torpedo rays. Maybe they can help. If one torpedo ray can make enough electricity to light up one room... A bunch of torpedo rays might be able to light up the whole octopod. And they do seem to like the Vegemal's fish biscuits. Keep it coming, Junip! Come on, guys! Dinner is served! Nice and crunchy. And these fish biscuits taste great toasted. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I'm starving. Nice and crunchy. It's working. The electricity from their zapping is going through the wire right into the octopod. Oh, yeah. Great. Oh, wow. Almost there. Just a few more zaps. The electricity is back on! Yeah, I knew we could... Oh, hey, watch it, man. That watch was it, my shoveling. Hey, watch it, will ya? Hey, Ray, get out of my way, man. Hey, easy, guys. Yeah, get out of it. The octopod's going to fall over the edge. Hey, watch out, man. Torpedo rays, look out! Ooh. Sorry. I've got to get to the controls. <laughs> Looks like you could use a lift. <gasps> Sandy! Nice to see you again, Sandy. Hop on. The octo hatch. Got it. You have to jump for it. Uh, ah. <laughs> A little polar bear. The octopod is back in action. Yeah! 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 Good to see you, Tweak. You too, Sandy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I heard all the commotion from the other side of the canyon, so I swam over to check it out. Just in time, too. I'm glad everybody's okay. Fish biscuit, Sandy. Here, let me zap that for you. Nice and crunchy. <laughs> Thanks for coming all this way just to see me. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Uh, not too much trouble, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs>
the Octonauts and the Humu Humu Nuka Nuka Apoa. It's just a small bruise. If you stay off the claw for a day or two, it'll start to feel much better. Oh, thanks, Peso. Who's next? Wow, what pretty little fish. What kind are you? Oh, oh, oh these are Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apua'a. Humu Nuku 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 No, Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apua'a. It's their Hawaiian name. Repeat after me. Humu Humu. Humu Humu. Nuku Nuku. Nuku Nuku. Apua. Apua. Ah. Ah. That's it. Now, just put it all together. Humu Kuku Pupu Nuku Wa Ah 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 Ah. Ahem. Excuse me. Why don't you just call us Humu Humus for short? Oh, right ho. Humu Humu. Achoo! Oh, whoa! It's okay. I only sneezed. Humu Humus get scared very easily, Peso. We need to be calm and quiet. Hello. My name's Peso. And I'm Shellington. Aloha. My name's Hank. Aloha, Hank. What can we do for you today? Um, we're here for a checkup. All right. Just open wide and say ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! There's Peso and Shellington. I'll show them a few of their moves. Oh, oh, oh. A shark! Quick! Hide, chaps! Oh. No, no, that's not a shark. It's just my friend, Quasi. Oh. oh no! I forgot to close the octo hatch. Dashie, what's going on? Some kind of little fish are swimming into the octopod, Captain, and they're getting inside everything. Tweak. It's not just the toilet. Captain, this isn't good for the fish. Or the ship. Dashy, sound the octopus. Huh? You want me to sound the octopus? No, Dashy. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have a very big problem caused by some very small creatures. Lots of tiny fish have swum into the octopod. They're inside all the pipes, hoses and tanks. Basically, anything with water in it. Oh no, they could get hurt. Ah, oh, who are the little fellas anyway? They're Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apua'a. What? Humu Nuku Kuku Puka Wata Hudabudu? Humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. When something scares them, they quickly hide in small spaces, then stay in there till it's safe to come out again. Who would want to scare these cute little fishies? Um, actually, it was you, Quasi. Me? Yes. The humu humus thought that the gut bee was a shark. That's why they swam into the octopod. Oh, sorry, little fishies. Octonauts, let's split up. We've got to get the Humu Humus out now. Ahoy there, Humu Humus. There's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to. Oh. 
atmosphere. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, Humuhumus can blow strong jets of water from their mouths. Hmm. Now you tell me. <laughs> that's funny. Water in the face. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Come here, little fish. Huh? Hank? Is that you? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Hank, it's me, Peso. Hank, that wasn't a shark you saw in the water. It was just the Gub B, one of our ships that looks like a shark. <laughs> Are you sure? I promise. It really is safe to come out. Well, OK. Just a second. My fin is oh, a bit stuck in here. Oh. When I get scared, a fin goes up on my back and locks me into my hiding place. Just relax. Let your fin go down. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Ah. Thanks, Peso. And uh, sorry about um, squirting you back back there. That's OK. But we have to get the rest of your friends to come out of their hiding places before one of them gets hurt. Can you help us? Absolutely. I'll just tell them all that's safe. Great. Thank you, Hank. Hello in there. It's me, Hank. <laughs> There's no shark. You can come out now. I want to come out, but I can't. My fin is stuck. I'm stuck too. Oh, oh, me too. Yeah, get me out. Oh, yeah, I'm stuck. I can't move. I can't move. Uh-oh. Come on, Hank. Captain. What is it, Peso? We've got a problem. The Humuhumus can't seem to leave the octopod. They're stuck in the pipes. Aye. Whenever we get close to the little fishies, they dive back into the pipes and wedge themselves in even deeper. But what can we do? None of us are small enough to climb in there and pull them out. That's it. We'll flush them out. We're going to flush all the toilets. Not just the toilets, Quasi. If we can push even more water through the pipes at the same time, it might flush the humuhumus out. And they can ride the wave out into the ocean. Yow! Octonauts, let's do this. OK, everyone, are you all ready? Yes, sir. Sure thing, Cap. At the ready. Hi, matey. Ready to flush. Ready when you are, Captain. Me too. OK, Octonauts. And now, Dashy, empty the water cooler. <sighs> Quasi, run the water. <laughs> Tunip, turn on the hose. <laughs> Tweak, Inkling, empty the tanks. <laughs> Peso, empty the sick bay tank. See you back in the ocean, Hank. Will do. See you soon, Peso. Tweak, empty the launch bay tank. <laughs> Most of the Humuhumas are still stuck. What did I forget? Ah! Shellington, flush the toilet now. Is everybody out, Hank? Yep, that's everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Octonauts. Goodbye. Oh, no. Wait! There's something we haven't finished yet. Um, there is. Yes, I'm still your medic, remember? I need to do a checkup for you and all the other humu humu nuku nuku wapwa'a. <gasps> Peso! You finally said it! You're right! Humu humu nuku nuku wapwa'a. Now you say wapwa'a. Wapwa'a. <laughs> 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 that was fun! <laughs> 
the octonauts and the crafty cuttlefish. All right, Cap. Your octo compass is ready to go. Oh, thanks for fixing it, Tweak. I don't feel like a captain without it. You better give it a quick check. I'll show you how it works, Vegemals. If I need to talk to someone, I just touch the screen. Look. Hello? And if I'm away from the octopod and I need to sound the octo alert, I can use this to do that too. Uh, don't worry, that was just a test. I can even take a picture with it. Looks like it's working perfectly, Tweak. All right, Cap. See you later. Would you like to hold it, Tunip? Be very careful with it and give it back to me as soon as you've each had a turn. Octonauts? Huh? Octonauts, who sounded the octo alert? Um, Shellington, do you know what he's saying? Yes, Captain. He says that your octo compass flew out of the octo hatch and they don't know where it is. I think. And they're really sorry. Don't worry, Vegemals, we'll find it. Dashi, activate the Octo Compass Finder. I'm on it, Captain. There it is. <laughs> it's floating into the cove. Look. It stopped moving. All we have to do now is go into the cove here and get it. Easy. Super, super. Or maybe not so easy, Captain. This cove is known to pirates everywhere as Creepy Cove. Creepy Cove? What's so creepy about it? It's the home of a creepy monster with creepy powers. And what might those powers be, Quasi? The monster of Creepy Cove can change colours like magic. It can make itself grow as big as three whales. And finally, it can make perfect copies of itself <laughs> until you're surrounded by monsters. I've always wanted to explore Creepy Cove and see that monster in action for myself, matey. <laughs> I'm not sure there's really a monster living in this cove. Creepy Cove, Captain. But we do need to get my octo compass back. So, Quasi, Peso, into the gup. We're heading for... Creepy Cove? Um, yes. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. According to the map, the octo compass should be somewhere near the entrance to the cove. So we won't have to go very far inside Creepy Cove to find it. Unless the monster of Creepy Cove finds it before we do and takes it for himself. Here we go. The entrance to the cove. The octo compass is small, so we'll have to look very carefully. Peso, you take that side of the rocks, and I'll take the other side. And Quasi... Quasi? <sighs> Come on, Peso. Activate helmets. No monster yet, Captain. Well, you never know. He could appear at any moment. Oh. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find the octo compass in no time. Let's search these rocks first. Huh? 
What was that? Look, the Octo Compass is moving. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. Barnacles here. Go ahead, Dashie. Um, Captain, have you found the Octo Compass? Uh, no, not yet. Well, somehow it's on the move again, deeper inside the cove. Tell me which way to go, and we'll catch up with it. Okay, Captain. Go left. Go through the rock archway and to your right. Captain, what are we chasing? The Octo Compass. It's moving again. The monster of Creepy Cove must have grabbed it. All right, Dashie. Now which way do we go? The Octo Compass has stopped moving, Captain. It has to be somewhere very close by. Understood, Dashie. Barnacle's out. Yeah. That scurvy monster is hiding in this kelp with your Octo Compass. Well, I don't know if a monster took it, but one thing's for sure. My Octo Compass is somewhere in this kelp, and we've got to find it. I'll search this way. I'll search that way. And I'll take the middle. <gasps> that rock, was it there before? Rocks can't move all by themselves. That's silly. Hey! Hey! Okay, now that rock looks just like an ordinary rock. And ordinary rocks don't sneak around. And so, to prove to myself that there's nothing to be afraid of, I'll just sit right down on this ordinary old rock and go! <laughs> Flappity blippers. What is it, me hearty? Stop that rock. Huh? <gasps> oh, that's no rock. It's the monster of Creepy Cove. And it has the captain's octo compass. <gasps> Quasi, Peso, what happened? We saw the monster. First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge. And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye, and it's got your Octo Compass. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. The Octo Compass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kelp. Thanks, Dashie. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready. Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my Octo Compass. The monster! Shiver me whiskers! Another monster! <laughs> what? The real one! Gotcha! Don't worry, we won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove? No, I'm not a monster, I'm just a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish? Then how do you explain the fact that you changed your size and your shape and your colour? Mm, that's what we cuttlefish do, to protect ourselves so other animals can't hurt us. I can make myself disappear. Mm. Whoa! See, I look just like a rock. Or I can make myself look bigger! Amazing! Or I can shoot out ink and make it look like you're seeing another cuttlefish while I swim away! That's incredible! Hi, matey! We didn't mean to frighten you, Mr. Cuttlefish. We've only been chasing you because you have something that belongs to me. You mean this? Yes! That's my Octo Compass. Here, please take it. I was just playing with it. I like how it changes its look. Just like me. <laughs> You're right. And it also turns into a camera. May I take your picture? Well, okay. How about a group shot? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Say cheese. As you can see, the monster of Creepy Cove was just a cuttlefish. <laughs> Tunip, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs>